Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun coming at you again. We have another question. This time we have a question with Emil and he had a question regarding this timesheet that he's created. And so this timesheet here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you it really quickly. So if you open this user form and you type in an ID, in this case, I'm going to type 103 for Gaston and I'm going to click search. And that's going to fill out the user form. So Gaston gives the time in, time out. Now everything is lining up pretty well with this worksheet. The only problem is you notice for 6 a.m. right here, whenever we search, that converts into 00, 0 colon 25. So mid 25 minutes after midnight, which is not what we want. Everything else seems to be going fine. You know, 20 and two minutes past 20 o'clock, which is... Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 02. Now that's going fine. 8 to 9. So that's fine too. But the thing that happens, and let me bring up this image here. Uh, this image. So this image is what he sent me. He said whenever he puts 6 a.m. or if he puts 12 p.m., it just it acts really funny. 12:05 a.m. or 12:25 a.m. So let's investigate, and we're going to help. Emil with this problem. So let's go ahead and dig a little bit into the code. Let's hit Alt F11 to get into the Visual Basic Editor. We're going to double click on User Form 1. This is where all the code happens. It happens when you click on the search button. So double click on that. And let's go ahead and put a breakpoint here. Um, we're going to start at row 5 and basically keep looping until it finds the, the, uh, the person's uh, employee number or employee ID number. So that's what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and click open user form one. I'm going to type 103 and hit the search button. And it pauses right here at this, the break point. And we'll hit F8. So every row number starts with five. It's going to do a uh, do statement. It's going to loop right here. So the row number is going to be equal to itself plus one. So we start with row number six. Is 101 equal to uh, the current row there? And let's see, 101 is not equal to 103, so we got to loop again. 102 and 103 is equal to 103. So now it's equal to the text box. Now here's where we have the bit of code. In fact, I'm going to indent this just so it's easier to read this if then statement here. I'm going to hit tab. But anyway, so here's where we are. Here's where we're populating the user form. And so let me move the user form over here so we can see what's going on. And we'll hit Alt F11 and pull that back up. All right. So here's where we're taking the forecast sheet dot range C8, C8, C and the current row number. So C8, we're going to take the value and we're going to put it into there. Now that's going to be the name uh, Gaston, and you see it's filled text box two dot text. Text box three dot text is blank till we fill it with uh, G8. So see, we see that it's point, uh, 0 0.25. We know that it's 6 a.m. We can even click on it and see that it says 6 a.m. So it's very interesting. In fact, if we make it 6.01, let's go ahead and make it 6.01 a.m. and click away. And Alt F11, let's just back up our debugger one little step and redo this, right? So we see that that is, you know, 0.2506 blah 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 and when we format that text box value using our hour colon minute minute that's going to make it 601 right but if we made this uh six six o'clock a.m even we're going to see that it jacks it up and we're going to review why that happened so let's go back this makes it 0.25 even so right six o'clock is a quarter of the day through, right? 0.25 days. Exactly. So when we convert 0 0.25, 0 0.25 into hour, hour, minute, minute, it thinks wrongly that we're talking about 00, zero colon 25 or midnight, 25 minutes after midnight. That's not what we're talking about. So we need to be a little bit careful with this format function here, and we need to tweak this a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. And let's show you what happens in the debug menu. I'm going to hit Control G, and we're going to debug a little bit. In fact, I have a little thing right here, debug.print. So if we did C date, uh, the C date function on 0 0.25, it does still think that that's uh, 1225 AM. So what we'd rather do, well, let's do a C date of the actual cell value. Let's let's go there. So let's go ahead 
And uh, the first step was, I think it's right here. Let's create a little space. This is our little work area. Once we solve it once, we can solve it multiple times. So let's see what the C date function does with that current cell. And uh, we can put that in the text box just for an experiment. So let's use the C date function, which converts something into a date. So we're going to take the actual cell value and you notice it's now acknowledging that that cell value has 6 a.m. in it. So really all we would need to do is either, either format what it is now as our hour, minute, minute instead of all this a.m. stuff. So we could leave that as is and it would show up as 6. That's fine. If we didn't want to, I don't want to say waste, but if we didn't want to use two lines, then technically we could use the format function right here on this one liner here. So comma uh, H H colon M M. And let's see what that does. So we're actually just combining two formulas, the format of the resultant C date function. And we're just format formatting that stuff as our hour minute minute using the C date right there. We could eliminate this line. Let's make sure that works. So let's hit F eight right here. And sure enough, that did. It converts it to a date straight from the cell and then quickly formats it in the same command. So really, we can comment out this line right here. And then uh, that's really all we would need to do is we would just put our format here and then our C date there and we could eliminate every other line. Uh, so let's make sure that that worked in the other scenario. If I bring up this image again, the other scenario was 12 p.m., not 6 a.m. So 12 p.m., remember that's halfway, exactly halfway through the date. So it's 0 0.5. And that's why it came up as 12.05 a.m. Because it was wrongly thinking that that's what the 00, uh, 0.5 wanted. Well, that's not really what we wanted. So let's make sure that that is going to work. I'm not sure if we have... I'm not sure if we have that. So let's put that in the cell right here. We're going to try uh, 12.05, or excuse me, 12 uh, p.m., which is just 12. Let's click to verify, yes, 12 p.m., which has the value of 0 0.5 or exactly 50% through the day. Let's go ahead and just make sure that that runs correctly now. So we're going to open the form 103, enter, enter to hit the search bar. I'm going to take the breakpoint off and hit play. So let's just make sure, let's see, where did this... Uh, oh, you know what? We didn't actually do the formula in the other one. So let's do, let's put 12 right here. 12 colon 00 PM. All right, now we have 12 PM in that cell and let's click search again. So now it says 12 instead of uh, uh, 0, 0005 or whatever. So looks like it's working. Um, and so Emil, that's all you'd have to do to all the other uh, cells is really you could eliminate half of those uh, formulas by doing the combo thing there. So if you want to download this demo, I'm sure we're going to get permission from Emil. So check the video description and we'll, uh, we'll get you a demo copy of this simple user form and with the, uh, the corrected formula, at least on the first one there. You can practice on the other ones if you want. Thanks for watching and God bless.